Hey guys, I'm John Salmon. I'm a director of photography, and I have a tip for you that will save your life when it comes to exposure. So it's often hard to gauge what you're getting in a bright exterior location just by going off the LCD screen. Many people use things like screen hoods or electronic viewfinders or even throwing just a big piece of duvetine over your head, but these solutions aren't always reliable or safe. Also, sometimes when you're shooting in a low light scenario, you might have your LCD brightness turned up so you can see the image better, but what the camera is actually capturing is much darker than what you see. So you can see how unreliable LCDs can be. They get the job done with composition, but they're not so great for exposure. So how do you know if you're actually exposing correctly? The answer is this. This is a histogram, an objective measurement of a camera's exposure. You can usually find it by digging through your camera's display settings. So let's break down how this thing works. The left third of the histogram represents the shadows in your image. The middle represents the midtones, and the right third represents the highlights. A high contrast image, for example, like this one from The Third Man, is gonna have a high concentration in the shadows and a high concentration in the highlights, but not a lot in the midtones. But this image whoop, from McCabe and Miss Miller is much lower contrast, so the mountain is in the middle of the histogram where the midtones are. Whoop, whoop. So let's see this thing in action. Watch what happens when we close the lens down. Eww. Notice that the histogram is now concentrated towards the left side. And then let's open it back up. Now that we're showing mostly highlights, it's concentrated more on the right side. And let's close it down to the middle. Eww. Now you have an evenly exposed image. So here's the thing about histograms. Good exposure usually looks like a mountain or a series of mountains in the middle, but bad exposure looks like a cliff. So let's look at the overexposed image one more time. Boop, 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 boop. So now the histogram is concentrated on the right side. And what we call this is peaking. It means that we are outside the range of what the camera can actually capture. You're losing vital details like my face and my skin and all this color. All that stuff's going away because we're going outside of what the camera can capture. Beep. So let's say you want your final image to be high contrast and underexposed. Hit the lights. Your best bet is to expose properly in camera and then bring the image down later rather than actually shooting it dark. Take a look at these two examples. The image on the left was exposed properly and then brought down in post so it looks dark. The image on the right was exposed dark in camera. Notice the noise and the loss of information. The idea is that when you're shooting on digital cameras, you want to capture in a way that is ideal for the tool that you're using. And then you can always bring it to where it needs to be in post. I think the best analog would be a sound signal. So let's pass this over to Kevin. Thanks, John. I'm going to show you the same thing, but with sound. Allow me to demonstrate. This is what a healthy waveform looks like. I have my record level set appropriately for my speaking volume. But if I were to scream at this level, you can see that we're losing information on that screen. It's a solid block. That means you're in f city. If you look at the waveform for the screen, you can see that it's actually cut off, and that means we're losing information. That's not good. If you want to record a screen like that, you want to bring down your record level to get a healthy, full waveform with all the information. Then in post, you can bring the level back up so you get that loud impact with all the detail that that beautiful screen deserves. <laughs> Back to you, John. I hope this video was helpful to any of you who are trying to be more precise with how you expose your image. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, I think it's time for that end card. Bloom, bloom, bloom.